Hey guys, I just want to take a minute to kind of bring home uh, this concept of aerobic efficiency that we're talking about so much and that we're going to continue to talk about and harp on because it is so important. And in fact, it is, it is going to be the thing to be paying attention to in health and human performance, I think, in the next five to 10 years. What we mostly have been concerned about up to this point in fields of human performance is things like VO2 max, which is the volume of air that you're bringing in in a breath or the volume of oxygen in particular. Now, where the limitation here is, is that it doesn't tell us how much of that can potentially get released into tissues that need it, right? There's steps in between that oxygen coming into the body and it actually making it to tissues that need it and then getting released. And the, the higher percentage of that oxygen that gets released per volume taken in is more efficient. And there is no case for inefficiency, none. Not in anything is there a case for being less efficient. Nobody wants to spend $20 and make 10 rather than spend $20 and make 20. That makes perfect sense to most. But what we talk about a lot of times is how much volume, volume, volume of air can I get in? I'll just breathe more, whether it's more frequently or more deeply and improve my capacity, but not really be worried about how much is getting released into the system, right? So the efficiency of the aerobic system is incredibly important and keeps us from using less efficient fuel sources longer. Now, not only does it keep us from using less efficient fuel sources, anaerobic ones, but if we do need to use those because we're engaged in a high power evolution where oxygen can't be processed fast enough, then we can start to buffer the waste from that sooner if we're aerobically efficient and get our system closer to a homeostatic line so we can continue to do work. So when we're talking about efficiency, what we really mean is return on investment. How much do I get for what I give? And it does cost energy to make energy, just like it costs money to make money, right? So if you have a business and you invest $1,000, getting $10,000 back would be better than getting $5,000 back. Nobody would argue that. But what ends up happening a lot of times in the sort of exercise physiology world is everybody is concerned with how can we just do more, not how do we get a better return on each investment. And if you frame it like it was money, it'd be a much easier concept, I think, for people to understand. So just a little bit of something to chew on there. Aerobic efficiency is super important. And if we want to begin to understand this on the physiological level, we have to pay more attention to carbon dioxide. So chew on that for a while, you guys. See you next time.